Yo, what's up, guys? It's Ben. Welcome back to another video. Today is Sheffield Wednesday versus Luton Town. So today is, uh, yeah, it's going to be a bit of a weird one today. You know, Luton, um, they weren't really that good last year. They managed to stay up, which was great for them. But they're actually doing not bad this season. They've got three wins, three losses. So it's they're not having draws, but realistically, they've had more wins than us. So they are probably in a better position to win this game than we are. But um, obviously, Luton haven't been in the championship too long. But they have got a quite together squad, you know, and uh, a, a, a quite a good squad for Luton Town, uh, if I do say so. But yeah, anyway, last time we played Luton at home last season, we were 1 0 with a Kadeem Harris, whatever it was, like a header, or a, I don't even know what he did, to be honest. But yeah, and then we, in the reverse fixture, we actually lost 1 0, which was really annoying. I went to that match as well. But um, I remember I didn't vlog it. I was in my break at that time. I was like taking a little break. But yeah, I went to see that match. It was horrible. We were late to the match as well. Me and my dad missed the uh, the penalty save. So we missed the only good part of the game, which was uh, really, really annoying. But anyway, uh, this game is going to be tricky for Wednesday. After that loss against Brentford, it's going to be quite hard to bounce back, uh, especially as we're at home again. We can't win at home at the moment. And uh, we still might be a bit tired from the match that was Wednesday. So it was only like three or four days ago. So, uh, yeah, it might be a little tricky today. But I think we all come through with the 2-1 win today. I think we need to finally get that win at home. It's going to happen soon. And if it doesn't happen soon, it's going to happen now. And I want it to happen now. So that would help us get through to positive points. And then hopefully, if we win at home today, we'll be able to get either a win or a draw away at Rotherham next week on Wednesday, I think. Because we always win away for some reason. Uh, that's just what happens with us. But anyway, guys, let's move on to the subs and the lineups. Right, once again, we're playing the 3 4 3 kind of formation. We've got Vanaken, Flynn, Odbadjo, centre backs, Dawson. I've, I've forgotten him in goal. He's always in goal, let's be honest. Um, right mid slash right wing back uh, kind of guy, Harris on the right. Reach on the left. Bannon Palupsi in the middle. Uh, Patterson. Big up top, Maria Kachunga, probably either side of him. They're all kind of striker kind of people. Kachunga plays a bit more wise, but I think Marriott's more of a striker as well with uh, Patterson. Maybe like a, a bit of a centre forward cam kind of thing maybe going on if we could switch it up maybe. I'm not sure. But anyway, it is looking a good squad. Uh, it's just uh, Kachunga instead of uh, Windass and Plupsi instead of Alex Hunter changes from last game. On the subs, Palmer, Borna, Deli Bashu, Windass, Rhodes, Wasmuth and Hunt. So basically, yeah, it's just the same two changes. Windass for Kachunga, Hunt for Palupsi. Uh, I think the Hunt for Palupsi is a good one. Windass for uh, Kachunga, I'm not sure. Uh, Kachunga, obviously, he didn't actually um, come on the pitch, I don't think, uh, in the uh, game against Brentford. I think, so Deli Bashu came on, um, Palupsi came on and Rhodes came on. So yeah, I don't think Kachunga came on, so we'll be able to see him. Hopefully he's at full fitness as well, ready for the game, ready for hopefully getting on the score sheet maybe. But yeah, uh, let's see. Windass will probably end up coming on anyway, but let's see how Wednesday do today. Hopefully we can get the win. Uh, we need a win at home. Please, Wednesday, please. But anyway, yeah, let's go downstairs, watch the match. Repping the new shirt as well. Obviously the, the new cool design, new Elevate badge, new collar, new buttons. Come on Wednesday, let's get the win, come on. Alright, first off slide, come on Wednesday. Oh, what a great block. What? Jesus, the Luton have almost scored in, in, within 10 seconds. Come on, Kachunga, good turn, Kachunga. In the box. Oh, shoot, bad reach. Oh, he's back to Kachunga. He's onside. Get, get in, Harris. Stop. Bannon gets it in. Oh, it's in the air. Someone win it. Keep ball. Win it. Oh. Good job, Harris. Get in the box. Patson. Oh, headed it straight at the keeper. Alright, one minute of added time in the first half. Still in the box, Patson. <laughs> Well, that was a waste of time. More than me, isn't he? Right, half time over right, now. Shocking. Yeah. Right, second half side. Come on, Wednesday. Oh! 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 Who was that? Van Aken. Flint crossed it into Van Aken. It's a great error. He's almost scored it. It's a good save as well. 
Patterson's been subbed off when Nass, he's limping a bit, so he might be a bit injured, that's not great. Oh, close from Bannon. Oh, yeah! We scored a header, and it's a foul, apparently. For God's sake, what happened here? He has just kind of need. He has just kind of need him in the face. Now look at the guy that he's on. Is it? Oh well, I don't know. Then. What's happened here? No way. No way. What? What? That I can just been sent off. What for? What for? What? Nah. At least show the replay, Jesus Christ. There's no way that's a red. That that's not a red. <laughs> okay, it might be a red. Why is Pelusi centre back? We need to sub on Borna instead of it. Pelusi probably useless centre back. Well, let's see. He's probably the best person on the pitch to be centre back. Twelve seconds later. Damn it! We got red and we're one 0 down now. We just it's just Bourne is about to come on as well. It's just So dumb. So they're one it up. We're about to someone a sub on a defender. We're useless we are. We're actually useless. Bannon's gone with a dumb tackle, not got anything off that. He's taken it around him, and it's just a really good shot into the bottom corner. Borna has now finally come on to Jack Mario. Pay Pesky coming off for Jordan Rhodes. Come on, get it in. Get it in. There's so many people in the box. Come on. Penalty! Ray! Oh my life, what a joke. You give a you give a red for the dumbest thing. And and when he's literally dragged down dragged down when he's thrown goal, you're not gonna give that. That should be a red more like. Jesus Christ. Right, four minutes of our time at the end of the second half. Hopefully we can get an equalizer. Oh my life, that is a trash cross. I told you can't. Oh my god. There's no way he's just done that. What a waste. Oh my god, they've just hit the post. Jesus Christ. There we go. Ridiculous. 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 Guys, I have no idea what to say. That it's just so bad, just so beeping bad, man. Honestly, uh, yeah, I don't really know where to start. We just didn't really play well. We had like a few chances here and there. Uh, uh, Luton, they hit the post, uh, they hit the bar, they scored the goal as well. Their goal was a good goal, to be honest, great finish. Uh, we couldn't really do anything about it, to be honest. Apart from the fact that uh, we shouldn't have got the red. That's the main talking point, I think, today. The red. How how it was a red, I have I don't know. High boot, apparently. Uh, but, yeah. I'm, I'm In this day and age, it probably was a red. But some of the challenge we're going to go through in this, in, in a few minutes or so, like, ridiculous. So, basically, uh, when um, we scored our offside goal... Uh, they gave it as a foul to Luton because we were like pushing people around and so that's why it was a foul. Yeah, then Harris gets played through. He gets pushed over in the box and apparently that's not a penalty. 
So there has to be some sort of consistency to the refs because that is just ridiculous. It's basically just he's basically just thrown the game as well as the red. Like I I know that there would be a few refs that wouldn't give that as a red, and uh, maybe most reds might not give that as a red because it probably was a little bit soft. To be honest, it was it, obviously it was a high boot, but like he didn't mean to do that. Obviously, he he was trying to get the ball, and he's a uh, he's not really a nimble kind of guy. He's a bit clunky, is Van Aken, but because of that, we, we're gonna miss him now for what like three games, isn't it? It was a straight red, so I think so. It, it's just annoying because now we're I don't know what we're gonna do. We play Borna, but Borna wasn't great at all. Great, at, and there's a reason why we don't play Borna because he's left left sided, I think. So that means like. Well, too many people. Like I don't, I don't know what it is. Uh, I can't. I know. I understand it, but I can't explain it. Basically, because we've got like Odebajo, Flint, and Borna. It just doesn't work because um, Borna's left footed, I think. Um, so like that's why we play for Naken. But now vanaken has gone. I don't know how we're gonna fare against Rotherham. I was gonna think it was gonna be a really good, uh, probably quite easy game against Rotherham. Obviously, they lost today as well. I think. Uh, so, uh, yeah, I'm not really sure. I think well, I'm just going to try and take a draw at Rotherham, to be honest. I would have happily had a draw today against Luton, because after that first half, I knew it was shambolical. Like, there was no way we can attack with just hitting it up. Like, there, you can't you can't win games like that. It's just, especially when it's Sheffield Wednesday, you know you can't win games like that. We're not that kind of team. We're just not fit for hoofing it long and expecting the best because we don't have them type of players like we've got tall players but uh it's like we've never played it before like some of the players other players in, on our team they don't know what to do harris was just panicking really he was just going in and out all the time not knowing what to do i was just looking looking at him like cross it in have a shot do something and they end up losing the ball like Oh, we're just not fit. We're not a team to fit to play this type of football. And I think Gary Monk knows that we can play better than that. To be honest, I don't like this type of new new type of football that we're playing because it's not it's not getting us goals. We've had one goal in our past, however many games, maybe two actually. Uh, I'm not even sure, but yeah, like we're not we're not scoring goals. You need to score goals to win games, and that's not what we're doing. And if you can't score goals, at least have a good defence to back it up with. That defence was good until a red card just put a knife through it, basically. So, yeah. Thanks to the ref, whoever you are, for throwing us the game and to our tactics as well. For absolutely, yeah, just just not being great. Uh, yeah, I was just... Rhodes came on again. Same old, same old. I mean, you can't really expect much from him. He didn't have much to work with. But at the same time, like, we should have, we should expect this. Uh, one of our only options on the bench going forward is Jordan Rhodes. And he's just, oh, he's just bad. I don't know what to say, guys, honestly. I miss the days of 2016 when the, we're back in that season when we were playing beautiful football, beating Arsenal in the cup, you know. Get to the playoff final, but you know, now we're playing some hoofball that we can't get out of. We're stuck in a, a sticky situation at the moment. We still got minus points, so I don't know what to do. But anyway, guys, that's just about it for this video. If you liked it, please do leave a like down below. Subscribe, hit the bell icon, do all that. Follow me on Instagram, Twitter, BenRSYT. Both links are in the description as well. And uh, I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace. Again.